Hey everybody, my name is Anita and I'd like to welcome you to the Honey Hive. Hey everybody and welcome back to The Honey Hive. My name is Anita. If this is your first time joining us, nice to meet you. Here at The Honey Hive, we are bringing you black women entrepreneurs, community leaders, and those who can speak on black social issues. So today, I am joined once again by Mr. Honey himself, Rico Garrett. You guys gave us such Really? Oh, okay. I was, it was, you, you when folks, you know, watching, I want them to like take a photo. Oh, of like, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I think it's just so dope. All right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, one more time. All right. She got it. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys gave <laughs> us such great feedback about part one yes. of our video together that yes. we decided to come back again and give you a little bit of uh, us some more. Yes. Uh, for us part some two. more. I like that. Listen. Us some more. Yes. You know. That was good, babe. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so today we are going to give you a little more insight on our thoughts of marriage. Um, yeah. If you watched before, you kind of already have a little hint on where I was mm -hmm. before the Lord revealed some things to me. Amen. Uh, so we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about some traditions that we have yeah. um, for our marriage. The holidays just, you know, ended and everything like that. So I'm sure our couples out there may um, be in agreement with some of the things that we do or maybe not. You know, listen, to each his own. Okay? Whatever floats your boat. That's show business. Yes. It's Auntie Tabitha would say. Shout out Amen. to Auntie Tab. Listen. Hey. Keep praying, guys. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Shout out to Auntie Tab. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, happy Friday. Happy Friday. That's number one. Yes. Yes. Happy Friday. We made it. Yes. Jesus. Ah. Don't you hate like when it's a four day week? Because doesn't it feel longer than it does. Like, a regular week? I start my weekend on Monday. I mean. Well, preparing for the weekend. Yeah. Is that bad? No. Okay. I do too. Yeah. This is why yeah. we are we. Yes, we are one. Shut out. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> but before we before we became one, yes, we were individuals. Yes, and proud of it. Yes, me probably more so because I was a independent woman. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to know: Did you always know? Not that you wanted to be married to me, because okay. obviously. Wouldn't. Right. But. Oh, <laughs> shout out to you. Hey. From you. Hey. Okay, okay. I like that. Listen. Big you up. Right. Yes. If no one's going to celebrate you but you. Hello? Who's going to do it? But okay, no, seriously. <laughs> Did you always know that you wanted to be married? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I uh, I did. I did. Okay. It wasn't, wasn't difficult. It wasn't hard for me to figure out. Mm. Um, at the age of seven, I remember praying a very specific prayer. Um, I prayed for my wife to be, and I prayed to be a husband and a father. And I prayed that prayer for several months. I don't know why, um, but I, I remember just kneeling literally right next to my bed and just praying this simple prayer. And that is so specific. <laughs> yeah. And long and behold, God answered my prayer because voila, here we go. Um, so to answer your question, yes, I enjoyed the idea of being a father, of being a husband. And I think that stemmed from just having great examples. Um, the greatest example that I had was, or still have, is my parents. Um, shout out to my mom and my dad. Um, they're, I think, on the verge of celebrating 25 years of marriage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, they were the blueprint for me. Um, mistakes, victories, highs and lows. Um, as I was growing up, I was taking mental notes and I was like, okay, I can see myself mimicking that. Um, so yeah, it has always been at the forefront for me. Mm. Question for you. Mm -mm. Don't turn it on me. <laughs> Did you always see yourself being someone's wife or being married? Uh, if you watched 
the first part of this, <laughs> then you know the answer to that is no. Because I was going to be Auntie Nita. Right. With my dogs. How many? I don't know, like two. Mm. Mm. Did Who you knows? have names? No. No. I didn't go that far. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, no, it just wasn't uh, necessary mm. for me. I was, um, I think, just thinking about my career, thinking about the way I wanted my life to go, and yeah. marriage just was not in the cards. Um, and not for any particular reason, because I have great examples, right. right? And great relationship examples in my life from my parents, my grandparents, and you know, all of that. But it just was never something that I really thought too much into. It was about my career, it was where right. I wanted my life to go, you know. Um, and your two dogs. And my two dogs, <laughs> you know, and what I wanted. Uh, it just, I think I was just so focused on that and so yeah. focused on being, um, just getting my career off the ground. Right. And I think also being in the legal field, you hear a lot of people say that it's better to be single in the legal field really? because of the hours and like all Got of it. that that goes into it. And I feel like maybe subconsciously that kind of just stuck with me. Like, interesting. I don't, you know, I won't have time for it. So let me just not even yeah. pursue it um, in that way. And then also I think just the misconception of what I believed marriage to be. Hmm. Um, I feel like sometimes we as women have the difficult um, task of understanding what submission means and understanding. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, we go in there. Uh -oh. You know, the understanding. Yes, because I feel like that was a big part of it as well. Like, what you mean submit? Nobody's submitting to nobody. Like, mm. what? I submit to Jesus and that's it. Like, that was. <laughs> That was my thought process right. on on that right. um, specific part of marriage, not really knowing and understanding that that's really not what that means. And then also that's just a part of marriage and that's not all of marriage. Um, so I think that that played a factor in how I viewed marriage in the beginning. Right. And it took a minute, even while we were dating, right. for me to fully understand what marriage was, right. what it looks like, and then also what my role would be. Yeah. Because I had a hard time with that as well when we were dating yeah. too. Just, what does a wife do? <laughs> <laughs> what does a wife do? I mean, yeah. like, you know, and when you talk about submission, what does that mean? Yeah. Because I'm and not going to And how do you fit be, in that? Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to be nobody's doormat, you know? But then at the same time, I don't want to be so alone and independent right. in myself that I'm making, you know, my partner feel like they don't matter or they're right, not right, needed. You right. know what I mean? So that was, that was kind of where I was with it. Yeah. I just didn't really feel like... It was something I wanted to do. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, it really wasn't until I met Rico. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. No, oh. just a different angle. Cause oh, you know, angles. I think angles are, you know, Important. beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You gotta well. give the full 180, but go ahead, go ahead. Okay. You were talking about me. I was. Yes. So yeah, it wasn't <laughs> until I met him that my view really started to change. Now, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like, oh, he's so great. And yes, I want to marry him. Oh my gosh, I want to spend the rest of my life. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were friends not first. Because. And right. so I was definitely afraid of us not working out because I didn't want to lose my friend. Correct. And so I put him through it. <laughs> oh, we we getting real real. Okay. We getting real real. I put him through it, y'all, because I didn't know any better um, when it came to 
communicating what it was that I was fearful of yeah. and what it was that I was feeling. So I, I showed it through attitude or um, through facial expressions and things like that. And right. it wasn't until I really took a hard look at who Rico is as a person that I realized that what I was doing wasn't working. He wasn't responding to <laughs> the attitudes and the, you know, if you know Rico, then you know he's not a very confrontational person. He's not a pushover. He will let you know, okay, <laughs> who he is in a very holy, wholesome way. But he was not checking for my attitudes and, and the pops and the locks. He did, he wasn't. The pops and the locks. I love how you <laughs> combined it the two. He wasn't checking for it. And so the shoulder it action. forced me, yeah, but it forced me to uh, mature in the way that I communicated with him. And it forced me to think about how I um, respond. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that everyone kind of desires in their partner is for them to uh, create a space for them to be elevated right. and to be pushed to better. Right. And I say it all the time that Rico definitely pushed me to be better, to become a better person and continues to do that just based off of the sheer fact that he was not going to respond to the way that I was behaving. And so it took me to say, okay, let's change that behavior because <laughs> it's not working and I need it to work, you know? Um, and so we we went through it a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Okay, well. Yeah, no, I, and, and, and I mean that in a good way because yeah. we grew up together. <laughs> yes, like absolutely. As much as I was able to help you grow, yeah. you did the same thing for me. Yeah. Um, but I think it all boiled down to us having that friendship. Yes. Us uh, setting the foundation where we could be each other's sounding boards. Yes. Be each other's accountability uh, partners. Yeah. Um, so it helped, you know, so I, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I came in and <laughs> saved the day. Like it was mutual. Yeah. Like there were some areas that you know, I needed help with that she was able to expose and to help me with and vice versa. So it, it, it worked hand in hand yeah. both ways. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we, you know, we did the work. We continue to do the work. We continue to talk, as you know, with my episode right. um, with Jasmine. Um, I am in therapy. I do have, you know, my own therapist that I talk to who forces me also to elevate my thinking and the way that I communicate. And then I can come back to him and be like, okay, so listen, we gotta have a conversation. And <laughs> I feel this way, you know, and I'm able to really open up more right. um, due to that. But also, like he said, due to the simple fact that we have created a space for each other to feel comfortable, right. to feel safe, to um, have those truth moments as we call them um Our that are line. yes that yeah. are you know not judgmental conversations they are very freeing they are very free flowing right. and nine times out of ten we start at one space and we're going and All by the time it, yeah. we're done how do we get here it's like completely different conversation what? <laughs> yeah. yeah but i think that that is just a testament to right. like you said our friendship first and then us growing together and yeah. learning each other and learning ourselves too as we go along so yeah. we're two years in again we're not experts <laughs> no, but we have experience yes and i think do. what we have to offer could be a blessing for someone yeah um at any level yeah you know um i think one of the great things that we've established in our relationship is to be able to communicate with each other. Um, and I think it's so important, especially as you progress and as you grow in your marriage. One of the things that I've learned is that um, motives migrate and it's highly imperative for you to stay in constant communication with your partner. Um, One more time. What? Motives. Migrate. Migrate. Yeah. All right. I just need to make sure that people heard you. Yeah. Because that's good. No, that's that's real. You, you be know. dropping nuggets like this at home, y'all. <laughs> be like, what? 
but but it's so okay. honest. But it's I think it's real because yeah. you know when I first met Anita as a friend, you know we were friends and yeah. I was getting to know her. But as we move forward in our friendship, she started to grow as a woman, and I had to realize the woman that I met before is not the woman that I know now. Mm -hmm. So I constantly have to, or we constantly have to have those lines of communication open so yeah. we can realize, okay, you're on page fifty-one. Right. I want to make sure I'm not in chapter three. You know, like yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. make sure we're we're heading down the same the same path. So um, as we're having these conversations, it's it's. It's it's not only building a it's not only building us up, but it's giving us an opportunity to realize and to see what God is doing through us mm -hmm. and how we keep how we can be a blessing for people who just want to hear our story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was pretty good. That was good. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. Hey. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, yes. What time we at? Let, me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Grandma, grandpa. I mean, we got in trouble last time. Let's we did. Stop. We did. If y'all didn't, so. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, okay. No, no, no. All right. Why? No. Anyway, anyway, if you can see Kristen behind the camera, she's going crazy. But no, um, no. So that is kind of where we were, yeah. right? And then now with us being married, I believe that I have shifted in the way that I um, define marriage, yeah. how I define myself. Um, and how I look and view marriage has changed. Um, I'm still a work in progress. Like you said, we're learning and growing every day. Um, but it's something that truly I can't honestly believe that I used to think that it wasn't necessary. Yeah. That I didn't need it and that I didn't want it at one point because now being in it, I couldn't imagine my life any other way. Yeah. You know, and then I agree. To be married to my best friend, that's just the cherry on the Sunday, right? And I like cherries. <laughs> okay. I do. All right, cuz don't they go on top of Sundays? Yep. And brownies. Mhm. Mm okay. So, yes, I love brownies too. <laughs> but um <laughs> Yeah, I just never really, I don't know if I could have picked a better partner for myself, which is how I know that it was all God. Yeah. Because. I wasn't checking for her in Jesus. the beginning and she wasn't checking for me. So it was nothing, yeah. nothing but God. Yeah. And yeah. it's just something that I feel like, especially for us um, in the black community, yeah. we don't see enough of marriages Black marriages, whether it's on TV, um, on the radio, it's or, good, babe. Talk about that. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything else, like it's it's such a um, rarity yeah. to see that. And then when we do see it, we yeah. like extra hype about right. it. Like, oh, they you better know? not get a divorce. Right. They better not, because. Right. It's doomsday. It's, it's always something. <laughs> right. It's always right. something where. You know, the wife is either unhappy right. or the husband is unhappy. It's never just a happy marriage just being portrayed yeah. and shown. And I think that that is something that also subconsciously for our community right. just imprints in our mind. And then we grow up or we raise children right. um, or we have siblings or whatever. The message gets out that it's not needed. It's not right. necessary. It's not something that we do. Right. You you know, and that's just so far from the truth. Right. I think we've gotten away from our grandparents and great grandparents, you know, their generation of marrying young. Yeah. Right. And then also sticking it out or or whatever. Right. And that representation being there to it being such a, yeah. you know, few and far between when you find out that someone has you know, gotten married right. or, you know, is married to a black woman or a black man. Right. Um, and that really hurts my heart. Like, I yeah. really 
I pray that that changes and yeah. that representation begins to really, really, really matter yeah. in our, you know, social media content, in our Absolutely. television and radio and things Absolutely. like that. Like we have great couples like Kev on stage and Melissa, right? Shout um, out. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> we have great content creators like right. that. And I, my prayer is that not only for us in, you know, wherever God takes us, yeah. but that we're able to inspire other couples as well to get out there and to be representation for right. you know black love because it does matter yeah and it exists it does exist and there's something special about it it is no matter what um social media may portray it to be yeah or how the world may portray it to be yeah um, there's something awesome and something special about a black man loving his black woman mm -hmm. And a black woman loving her black man, um, it is it's an awesome experience, yeah. and I hope that you know we are able to convey that in all that we do, um, you know, in these conversations um, and how we love each other, because um, I think it is the greatest example that I think our black community needs to see, yeah. especially at our age. Yes. You know. Yes. And to to let people know that it is possible. Mm -hmm. You know, you will have your your mountains and your valleys and your, your good days and your bad days. But don't forget the commitment and don't forget who is fighting with you mm -hmm. versus fighting with them mm -hmm. or fighting against them, I mm -hmm. should say. So, yeah. And it does work. <clears throat> yeah. It works. If you want it to work. Yeah. <laughs> One of the main things that um, I remember from us like doing marriage retreats and, and all that, marriage counseling and, right. and premarital, premarital counseling too, was it works if you work it. Right. And at first I was like, what does, what, what, what does, does that, that mean? even mean? It works if you work it. Like, like how many push-ups? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what do you mean? Right. And it wasn't until I was in it. Yeah. And it was like, hmm. Okay, I get it. This is what now. it is. Yeah. Because he's not my favorite person right now. But I love him. And sometimes that's impossible. Like, and how I, is it hard not to like? What? Hey, what? You know? What? I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Next up, I'm gonna have his sisters on here so they can tell the truth. <laughs> oh, Hello? wow. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to my lovely sisters. <laughs> <sighs> but no, yeah, like it wasn't until I got into it and um, I don't know, we tiffed about something and I said, I don't really like you, <laughs> but I love you. Yeah. And now I got to talk about it. Yeah. But give me a minute. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and yeah. sit on the floor and get my thoughts together. So I opened the door. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, you, he did. You, you ready? Yep. Nope. I closed that door back. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it works Yeah, if you work it. Right. <laughs> Every marriage is going to be different. Absolutely. Which is something that I learned, right? Not to compare. Mm, that's a good one. Even relationship. Yeah. Not even just marriage, just relationship, period. Yeah. Every relationship is going to be different. Right. No relationship is going to be the same because the, the same two people are not in, in that relationship. Right. So what's working for us, we are not saying is going to work for you. But what we hope is conveyed is that the tools and the resources that we use. Yeah. Communication, which is worldwide, something Correct. that needs to always be in constant rotation absolutely right um loving each other respecting each other being kind to each other those things are not just you know for us that's for everybody and it's not something that we just talk about yeah like i think this is dope like this is her show there's some lights there's a camera there's a background like it's dressed up so anytime you're in front of a camera you want to make sure that you're giving the camera what it needs mm -hmm. and our goal is to never give you the perfect answers yeah. or to create this fantasy that everything is perfect, that yeah. everything is glitz and glam. Mm -hmm. That's not reality. Right. You know, um, you have to be honest and authentic with your audience. And I, I really want you guys to understand that what we're sharing, what we're expressing um, is real. You know, yeah. um, there are moments where, like she said, like, I'm not her favorite person. 
um, there's moments where she's not my favorite person. You know, there's sometimes when she says some stuff, I'm like, all right. <laughs> oh, she won't do that? Okay, cool. Gloves off. <laughs> you gonna talk about me? I'm gonna talk about, you know, like that happens. But the question is, how do you work through that? Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you navigate through those conversations um, where you both leave the conversation healthy? Yeah. And not damaged yeah. and broken. Um, so, yeah. Or spewing, well, we should just get a divorce then. Right. Like, what? One, one of the things <laughs> I said what? in my vows to her is that divorce is not an option. Yeah. Like, that is something that shouldn't be on the table as a plan B. Like, if this doesn't work out, all right, plan B, let's just get a divorce. Like, no, I, I made a, a commitment to God for a reason. You know, I, I'm in your life and you're in my life for a reason. Um, the sole purpose is for us to enjoy what this thing looks like with this marriage, you know, um, what it comes with and, you know, all of the highs and lows. So, you know, we're never <laughs> at no point um, preparing for divorce. Um, but there are moments where you feel the tension and you feel like, oh, this is getting heavy. Um, that is not the time nor the moment for you to say, all right, I'm tapping out, throwing in a towel. No, that's when you realize, okay, this is my partner, this is my friend. We're gonna fight together to get to the bottom of this. You know, instead of just saying, All right, you call your lawyer, I'm gonna call my lawyer, we'll figure it out. Deuces. Yeah. You know? I and think, that's not to say either that if you are right. divorced yeah, yeah. or, you know, anything like that, let, that that's a bad thing. That's right. just for us. Right. Right. Again, not everything <clears throat> works for every couple. Um, but for us, we have made the conscious decision right. to not allow that to be a decision right. or an option you know, for us. Um, right. And I really want that to be clear. Like, we're not saying that, you know, oh, stick it out if you, you know, that that is not our message. Right. Um, our message is for us, we have made sure to put in parameters where we work. Right. And we do the work. Right. Um, and we love each other and we support each other. Um, and we, we work it. Yeah. So, We've worked it and we're continuing to work it. Day by day. Day by day. Yeah. Nothing happens overnight. Correct. You have to stay in the fight. You have to have that um, commitment yeah. to yourself, to God, more importantly, and to your partner. Yeah. So we're two years in. Two the years. holidays just passed by. And our tree is still up. It sure is. Yeah. It sure is. The other Don't day, judge me. I asked my wife, hey, I said, wife, hey, I'm, I'm going to give everything, you know, squared away, take the bulb no, down. No, the. I was like, why, babe? It's mm -mm. January, you know. Yeah, it's going to stay there. 16. You know why? You know, it's December was in uh -huh. 2020. We're yep. now in 2021. We are. So my and wife, it's gonna stay there. she loves looking at the tree with the lights. I sure and do. it just does something to her. So I said, okay, why we gonna give it just a few more weeks? Uh-huh. It's gonna be there until January 31st. <laughs> we gonna give it a few more weeks. Oh, and then, I'm gonna take a picture. You know, I'm gonna just It's gonna be there. You know, wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Put it on our little, you know, shed or whatever. It's gonna be there you know? until January 31st. You know why? Because we are in a pandemic. We up in the house and I need some cheer. So I wanna look at the Christmas tree with the lights on. This is what I said I do too. Yes, you this, did. You know, this as we wake up. Oh, yeah. the tree is still there. Good morning. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to turn the lights on. Yeah. We ain't got no Christmas presents under there. I don't care. I yeah. want that tree on. Pray for me. Yes. As I pray for you. Yes. Yeah. Stretch your hands. Hey. Yeah. I could stretch hey. my hands to that tree yeah. to take it down. But you won't. You know. But. You know, you know why? Every now and again, you got to go to sleep. Uh. <laughs> you know, you got to close your eyes. Mm. When you wake up, will it be there? We don't know. Mm. So it sure will. You know but you had a question, wife. Because happy spouse, happy house. I just That's know I need, to, I need to take this tree down. I know nope. That. I just. Nope. You know. Anyway, so the tree is up. <laughs> we just had Christmas. We, we did. had Thanksgiving. Yeah. Our tradition right now, well, what is that? Pre-COVID. Yeah, yeah. Would be to house hop. 
Okay, we start one house and my parents to the next. Yes, we go to his parents with mask. No, pre COVID. Oh, we said pre COVID. That's, yeah. right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pre COVID. That would be that would have been our yeah. tradition. And we eat and then we go over there, we eat some more and then and take then some we, leftovers with absolutely. us. Absolutely. Like stack up. Like yes. Stacks on stacks. Because our mamas be cooking. Right. And they're so happy to see us. Hi, Mom. You know. You want some more sweet potato pot? Sure Absolutely. Do. Sure do. Pile it on. You want a pumpkin square and everything. Uh, <laughs> sign me up. Uh, <laughs> Check. Hey. Yes. But COVID is uh, here. And it's real. And it's real. Yeah. And this year we had to be safe. Very safe. Yeah. So we, uh, we got tested and uh, we made our rounds very quickly. <laughs> that we did. Just to get the food. Yes. To bring back to our house to have a little party of two. Yeah, but we made the best of it. We did. We uh, we did we made play the best games. Of it. Play games. Uno. And I, I think I, I won in each game that we played. I did. But it's don't right. do this in front of the camera. Okay. I'm Just sorry. because this is your show. You won. No, thank you. You won. Anyway, uh, yeah. So hopefully next year. It'll be a different story. Um, it will be a different story. Whether that's we Airbnb a house. Come on, Airbnb. Okay. Yeah. Or we move. Uh, come on, move. Increase. It... Let's go. And the parents come to us. Yes. And the family come to yeah. us. Wait, all of them? Because we can't like inst like stack, like like group <laughs> one, group two. Like, we, that's a lot of- We just have to do groups for your We family, have a large- though. We oh, okay. have a large family, and sweetheart. We do. We do. We do. Okay. We do. Okay. We got aunts and uncles and cousins and. Well. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, maybe they just do a drive-by. Let the parents come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're saying this, this on a, camera. It's a big. <laughs> we hey. love you. We are a family like a, a giant, giant tree. tree. All right, all right. Okay, I, I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> She was ready. She was ready. Dream Boo was ready. She was ready. Hey, hey. That was good. Yes. That was good. Uh, that was but good. Uh, yeah, so that's our tradition. Yes. <laughs> we, uh, uh, we don't know what. We don't. Uh, as you, just like you guys, we don't know what this new year will hold. Yeah. Um, we're praying prayerfully that it, uh, it uh, gets better. Yeah. We don't know what this year holds, but In we Jesus know name. who's holding us. Amen. Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah. hopefully we will. I got some hair in you my got some eye. Hair? Yep. Uh -huh. But um, thank you. Yes. Every now and again, you gotta just touch her up a little bit. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So, um, yes. So hopefully <laughs> it will be better this year. Yeah. And we'll be able to just continue to create new memories, memories and traditions. Yeah. Um, and bring you guys new and better content yeah. every time. Um, I have some exciting things lined up for this year. What you got? I can't tell it right now. You can't spill just a little bit? Uh, just a little bit? Yeah, just wait and see. Oh, but make sure man. you subscribe so you'll know when it's coming your way. Not only do we want you to subscribe, <laughs> but we want you to like. Oh, yes. And we also would like for you to share. Ah, and comment down below how much you have loved Mr. Honey himself, Rico Garrett Jr. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was like my own. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was that yeah like that? Yeah, that no, that's fine. Okay, you whatever. Your own cheers? Yes. Okay. Celebrate me. Celebrate you. Know? you. Okay. If you don't encourage me, uh, I gotta encourage me. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. I'm a hot commodity. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Oh, we done? We yeah. Oh. You want to talk about some more? No, I just I just got comfortable. It was oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I just like looking at you. Oh, uh, well we could do that off camera. We can. <laughs> okay. Is that uncut? Thank you oh. so much for joining us. <laughs> We are so appreciative of you watching this video. Yes. Again, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yes. I hope that you have a blessed and prosperous weekend. Yes. Amen. And until next time, as always, welcome to the Honey Hive. Peace. Peace. So coming up next week, I will sit down with the creator and founder of Prosper Planner, Siomara Hewlett. You don't want to miss it.